First time you saw a dinosaur? First time you see them, it's like a miracle. You read about them in books, you see the bones in museums, but you don't really believe it. They're like myths. And then you see the first one alive. This is not your fault. But it is. No. This one's on me. I showed him the way. Do you remember the first time you saw a dinosaur? In blue? You don't really believe it. And then you see one for the first time. It's a miracle. Holy Ready PG-13. Something's coming. Genetic power has been unleashed. You can't put it back. In the box. Yeah. Move. Holy. Ready PG-13. Blue is alive. You raised her. A rescue op saved the dinosaurs from the island that's about to explode. What could go wrong? Holy. Blue, come with me. You know you can't stay here. Ready PG-13. We're not on an island anymore. There's a town five miles from here. If we don't shut this down, everything changes. These creatures were here before us. And if we're not careful, they're gonna be here after. This has to end. Ready PG-13. We resurrect the most lethal predators this planet has ever seen. Am I dead? Not yet, kid! We've taken things way too far. Genetic power has now been unleashed. We're not on an island anymore. This has to end. We've entered a new era. Welcome to Jurassic World. Ready PG-13. Do you remember the first time you saw a dinosaur? Never thought I'd see one in real life. The park is in the past. Run! We're not on an island anymore. There's a town five miles from here. To my dad? Not yet, kid. Change was inevitable, and it's happening now. Welcome to Jurassic World. Ready PG-13. You gotta be kidding me. I think in a Jurassic movie, it's so important, the level of reality in recreating those dinosaurs. They need to feel 100% real. 
There are a few sequences in this film which almost are made for practical effects. Yeah, that's pretty Those good. scenes were built specifically to be able to use animatronics in a way that we couldn't in the first film. I've been able to ride on the back of a T-Rex. Can you imagine how my children reacted when I told them that? I'm on the dinosaur. Good job. You're making this look totally normal. What Neil did with the design and the mechanics of these animals was amazing. Whoa, yeah, great, okay. There are quite a few scenes where we're interacting more closely with the dinosaurs, with Blue. The actors hadn't really seen Blue perform, and so they walked onto the truck, and there's just a dinosaur lying on the table, breathing and shivering, yeah. and they just completely engaged with it. Ah, it's so real. Can you buy justice? Put your honey here. Come on, Jay. Come on. Come on. I don't want to. Come on. To have this entire team of puppeteers beneath her creating that performance, we were able to create some really beautiful connection between man and beast. Easy, girl. What is that thing? They made it. This is the most dangerous creature that ever walked the earth. Look at the Indoraptor as a further genetic experiment. And the idea that this is not necessarily 100% successful is a really exciting possibility. So that we're seeing some degrading of skin or flaking of scales or some form of illness beginning to take place. To me, Jurassic Park was a new era. It was the beginning. So to be able to be part of that is an exciting thing. Down. Keep going, keep going, keep going. That's it. You're going to put a T-Rex on the screen. I mean, you know, it... <laughs> so fantastic. I don't quite know how to articulate it. It's just thrilling. <laughs> this is the crew that really brought this to life. I want to say thank you to everybody and well done, everyone. It's been absolutely fantastic. Can't wait to see it. someone who could help. A rescue op? What could go wrong? Hey, Blue. You know me. Come with me. You know you can't stay here. Back your men up right now. It was all a lie! The man who proved raptors can follow orders. You never thought how many millions a trained predator might be once? They're gonna sell them. Not blue. They need it for something else. What is that thing? They made it. This is the most dangerous creature that ever walked the earth. I say we shut this whole thing down. Hey, girl. You think what I'm thinking? Genetic power has now been unleashed. You can't put it back in the box. Blue! If I don't make it back... Remember, you're the one who made me come here. I'll be all right. These creatures were here before us. And if we're not careful... They're gonna be here after. Welcome to Jurassic World.
25 years ago, Universal and I took a big risk on a film that wasn't simply about dinosaurs. It was a film that embraced the age-old question, could science fiction become science eventuality? Jurassic World was a celebration of something that we all love. This movie is different. This movie is pushing something that we know forward into the future. You have everything that you need in a Jurassic movie, but then it gets more claustrophobic. It has this kind of gothic element, and you start to build up the tension in a very different way. We're picking up the movie a few years after the events of Jurassic World. I know why we're here. A rescue op. Hey, Owen. Save the dinosaurs from the island that's about to explode. What could go wrong? Blue, come with me. You know you can't stay here. Back your men up right now. That's when we realized that these are not good people that we're dealing with. It was all a lie! The first part of this movie is classic Jurassic, and then you go into this far more dangerous world. We arrive at this mansion where they're auctioning off these animals to the highest bidder. What is that thing? They made it. The Indoraptor. They're going to sell them. Not blue. They need it for something else. We get to learn a lot more about Owen and his very special connection with Blue. Easy. I told Steven Spielberg, I think the heart of the story is about Blue. Hey, girl. I say we shut this whole thing down. We hope that people come out with their imaginations expanded of what a Jurassic Park movie can be. These creatures were here before us. And if we're not careful, they're gonna be here after. Welcome to Jurassic World. Dinosaurs everywhere. And they're flipping out and killing people. There were scenes where we had so many dinosaurs in the same frame that we had to make the frame bigger. In this Jurassic World, you will see more dinosaurs than you've ever seen in all the other Jurassic movies combined. And we're gonna see all the dinosaurs again that we all love so much in the first movie. We're gonna have blue. Hey, girl. You think what I'm thinking? We have the Mosasaurus. We have the T-Rex. We have a Baryonyx in this movie. We have a Carnotaurus. The Carnotaurus fights the Sinoceratops. We have a Stigimolic. We just all love the Stigimolic. We have a brand new genetically modified dinosaur called the Indoraptor. It's a psychopathic, murderous beast. We're dealing with animatronic dinosaurs. It's so cool, and the animatronics are awesome. I think what the fans of the movie like is that we still have those real dinosaurs for the actors to interact with. Yeah, that's pretty good. Today's audience still hanker for practical effects in movies. On this project, we're all working together to make these animals come alive. We were able to create some hopefully really beautiful connection between man and beast in this movie. Shh. You're all right. There's dinosaurs everywhere. <laughs>